the Synology here at Computex. And uh, who are you? I'm Chad, Synology Product Manager. Welcome to the Synology Exhibition Solution. And you have this big room here, all the new products that you're showing uh, over here. You have a whole yeah. bunch of new products yes, this year. Yes, exactly. So what are we looking at here? This one, for example, this is a This DS. is a CS418J. It comes with a Realtek ARM A53 1.4 yeah. gigahertz CPU. Uh, and from, compared to the predecessor, we double the RAM from 512 gigabyte to one gigabyte. One gigabyte. Yeah. This okay. is the entry level four bay, right? Yes, this is this the entry is level four bay. Yes. Affordable four bay. Can you hold it up? Sure. Yeah. And you can show around. Uh, so it has a gigabit port and two gigabit port, yeah, and two USB 3.0. So are they f both at full speed at the same time? You can have two. Yes, you can have two. And uh, and the cooling is mostly for the hard drive, right? Yes. It's not for the CPU. It's mostly for hard drives. The, so for this, the whole system. So this is a 1293 uh, dual core ARM dual Cortex. Dual core. Yes. Right here. Right. Before you would you would use a, a, a Marvel 385 that was dual core A7. So it's a, a speed up. Yes, You're going to it's 64 a huge bit. upgrade, yeah, especially on the RAM. And so with this, you would be able to do all the Synology applications. Application, yeah. All you of could, them you will could, work you good. You could do more Synology applications at once compared with the predecessor. And we also support 10 terabyte of hard drive on this model. So you can go up to 40 terabyte of raw capacity. Before it was not, is it only 8 or what? Uh, on the previous model, we can only support up to 8 terabytes. All right. It's not possible to add more support in the previous one? It, it is possible, but uh, we have, since this is a 64-bit CPU, the single volume size, we could, we could break the 60 terabyte limit. So for, for example, this model can support over, for, for example, 40, yeah. a single volume 40 terabytes. All right, and uh, here you're showing another one. This is another arm card uh, NAS and it's using uh, Annapurna AL314. Quad core. This is a ARM, which one? ARM Cortex A15. Uh, this is a uh, ARM Annapurna AL314 yeah. quad core, yes, 1.7 So it's 32 bit uh, ARM Cortex A15. Yes. 4 gigabyte. 4 gigabyte of default 4 gigabyte of DDR3L memory, and it could be expanded up to. 8 gigabytes. It's possible with 8, even though it's a 32 bit processor, you can still go to 8 gigabyte of RAM. Right. Yes, you can, yes. Uh, yes. Can, we, can hold you hold it up and show around? Sure. So, this is um, the first time you do a, a dual 10 gigabit, uh, what's it called, 10 gigabit uh, solution for entry level, right? Yes, this I mean, is. Not entry level, but more affordable? This is a building to let, a building 10 gigabit port, and this is the first value series that can support 10 gigabit build LAN port. So it's value series, it's, it's totally value new. Seri it's totally new, it's our first 8-bay value series on the market. So you have 8-bay, each one can take 10 terabytes or what? Yeah, you can support 10 terabyte hard drive on each bay. And, uh, and then the, the 10, 10 gigabit, you would have a, need a switch, and the cheapest ones are around the cheapest one you can find on the market will be around maybe three to five hundred US dollars. And then you need a, um, uh, if you have a computer, you yes. would use a, giga, a 10 gigabit uh, a, a ten, PCI. A 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter yeah. on your desktop. And then you can get the full, is nearly 10 gigabit maxed out or not? Are you maxing out the 10 gigabit here? Nearly? Yes, we nearly max out the 10 gigabit. Yes. All right. With this CPU right here. Which is ARM. Those two is ARM? These are ARM. Yes. This is but, ARM solution. But this year you also have a, a range of Intel products. Yes, we are using the brand new Intel Apollo like CPU for this one. The DS17718 Plus use a quad core Intel Celeron processor. And uh, the clock speed is around 2.3 gigahertz. Yeah. Okay. So this is a this is a two bay uh, with gigabit Ethernet. Yes, and two USB 3.0 ports and the ESATA ports. What do we usually do with having two gigabit Ethernet? You put one to. You could do link aggregation. You could do failover. You could connect one to the internet and one to the local one. You can do all kinds of stuff with two gigabit LAN port. And 
you can set up uh, Synology High Availability with this model with two identical servers. So one for Heartbeat Link and one for uh, internet transaction. And just, just before you were talking about uh, scale up to 18 hard drives, you, you just have 8 bay, but you can add 10 more. You can add expansion yeah. units. So there's expansion units. You can, you can have a 5 bay expansion, you go one here, another one go right here. So that makes up to 18 drives. And all of the 18 are the same speed as the internal ones? All 18 is going to full, full speed? Uh, yes, it will get the full speed as the internal ones. Nice. And the 5 bay expansion is the same as last year as the standard expansion? Box? It's the DX517. And is there a good price for that? Uh, DX517 is already available on the Amazon. It costs like $200, $300? Uh, I'll check later. Yeah. Yeah, no fun. And then here you have a new disk station DS quad core Intel. The same yes. CPU is here? Yes. It's, it's used the same CPU and it's a 918 plus and this is a brand new 918 plus for us like let me show you right here it support tool and dot to ssd cache right here you yeah. can install m.2 ssd cache right here and without occupying the front page drives so uh M.2 SSD cache is for speeding up something? What does it do? The for SSD, SSD cache? cache, it will speed up your overall system performance. And and to use that is built into your software? Yes, the it's built into our software. Speeding up, uh, it's like a hybrid. You have hard drive, SSD, you have, work you together. You have hard drive, SSD, yeah, SSD serve as a cache. You will make sure you have throughput. Everything, like your hot data can be stored in your SD cache. So you will provide faster access than a regular hard drive. So basis. usually you would put how, how much storage in SSD in here? Usually, you recommend? Usually I will put around, I will say, maybe 112 gigabyte of SSD cache. 128, that's it. 108 or 256, that will be, it depends on your loading. No need terabytes. Yeah. I don't, you, you don't need terabytes on your SD it's cache. cache. It's yeah. just a cache, yes. But it 64 is too little? It depends, 64, it depends how much hot data do you have. And we have uh, SSD cache advisor on, in the storage manager. You can take a look, see how much hit rate it does on your SSD cache to see if you need a bigger, if you need to upgrade to a bigger cache or downsize it. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, you have a, a bigger one here, this station 318. The DS3018X. And it's a Intel pending processor, D1508. So before it's Celeron, those two. Those are Celeron. Pentium. Yes. Yes. Why this do you need a Pentium? Pentium? It does more uh, faster encryption? It does, uh, it does overall provide better performance for the small business. For example, this is the first 6 bay model we have mm -hmm. on the Synology NAS. It's, it's not a 5-bay, it's a 6-bay. And it's an X-series we have. This is the smaller X-series we have today, and it will be launched in around Q3. What does the X-series mean? X-series means extreme storage. It means what? extreme storage? Extreme, extreme storage, yes. If you want a hyper performance, if you want bigger storage, you will need to look you will want to look for the NAS in this product line, in this series. It will be the X series. So for X for this model you can hook up uh, expansion unit, a 12 bay expansion unit. So you'll be 12, 12 plus 6 that go up to 30 hard drives. But uh, over here you're talking about uh, pretty fast throughput. Uh, what's yes. the main advantage of using the Intel? Why do people want Intel in the NAS? Well, Intel overall provides uh, a higher performance. For example, if you run a lot of business applications, for example, that, uh, that, uh, MySQL DB, and if, if you require higher IOPS, of course you want to go with the SSD cache as well. That will give you a better performance than the DS. 1870. You don't have SSD cache over there for these kinds of. Uh, not this, for this one. It does support SSD cache, but it will occupy your front hard drive, front, front 
Okay. Which one? The UK is so any SSD cache on any of the slot right here. So you can have just one for SSD cache? Yes, you can have one for SSD cache, but if you only have one, that will only serve as uh, uh, re-cache only. If re cache only. If you have two SSD cache, <laughs> that will be up to a RAID 1 SSD cache. That could support rewrite cache. That will make both rewrite performance a lot better. So you would recommend maybe two, uh, 128 here and the rest is 10 terabytes or 8 terabytes? Well, again, it depends on your usage, how you use your Synology NAS. If you're just a regular home user or a pro user at home, you probably don't need the SSD cache at all. But if you run a small business or office um, in your environment, you will probably want to consider to install two SSD cache right there. Maybe two for 128. And 128 SSD? The 128 device, or 256, not expensive. Like yeah. 100 something? Yeah. Dollar? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's check over there. Some more uh, new stuff. What is people most excited about? There's a lot of talk on the internet, right? Yes. Which one are they really waiting for? I think most people are waiting for these two guys right here. Yeah. It's just because the DS17, DS17 Plus and DS918 Plus provide the video transcoding capability than any other non-Intel models. For example, it could provide up to two channels of 4K H.264, H.265 video transcoding. That so, means you take the 4K and make it smaller to 1080p, or yes. that means you actually encode it we, 4K? We take, 4, 4K. we take 4K into uh, 1080p or 720p. It depends on your iPhone or Android phones. It does, you don't take 4K into a smaller 4K? No. Because no. my uh, my 4K is 100 megabit on my camera. Yes. It'd be nice if you could automatically put it down to 20 or something. But still 4K. Okay. But you always put it down to 1080p or something like that. For its performance. For viewing, for view, uh, it's for the um, mobile streaming purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And it encodes a 1080p and H.265 or something like that. Yes. yes. All right. Cool. But this this could potentially also be possible on ARM solutions, right? It's not only with it. Right now, you're only doing it with Intel, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. But for the ARM, uh, for the ARM video transcoding solution, we're also working on it. And yeah. it should be available later this year. So there will be some other solutions coming. There will coming. be some other solution coming up. Yes. Are you the leader in NAS in the world? Are you the best NAS company, right? What? Well, since you asked, I have yeah. to say yes. Yeah. Yes. You are, right? <laughs> yes. You, you, you have all these amazing software solutions. We're going to check them out just in a second. Okay. But let's let's finish the, the round here. Okay. What, what more do you show? Okay. You have a... This is the our first PlayStation as a tower. So this is in a tower base. All the flash station we had before, the FS30, uh, uh, the, uh, the our previous uh, flash station FS3017 and FS2017. What's the point of this? What is the main use of it? It's just 2.5 inch SSD it's only. It's 2.5 inch SSD only. What's, this, what's the idea yes. with this kind of product? Well, we have a lot of users coming back with a lot of high IOPS requests and the high up request that a regular hard drive cannot output outperform the even SSD. With RAID. Even with RAID, not it's not possible. So if you have lots of uh, application running based on database or if you had for example if you are doing uh, video editing you require high speed access or transferring you could consider the FS1018. It's a 12 bay 8.5 inch SSD. So it's good for video editing solution. Uh, I will say it's good for yeah, it's good for video editing as as well. Yeah. So if you have a small size uh, independent video production, you could easily fill it up with two terabyte of SSD right here, and hook it up with your computer uh, with a desktop or Mac, and you will be able to do the uh, post video production. Almost, in almost real time. So you would have a whole bunch of 128 all the way, or something like that? Yeah, you can fill up with two terabytes. Affordable 128, and then you have a very fast two terabyte solution. 
Yeah. We can even have this together with one of those. H HDD and... Yeah, you can do both. Yes. Buy more. It's yes. okay, right? Yeah, it's okay, yeah. yes. Do yes. many customers do this? We have lots of customers. I won't say a lot, but it's mostly video production companies. Like, with uh, this kind of storage requests. But why don't they... they it makes sense to put everything in a NAS and not put it inside the desktop computer. Because uh, they edit on laptops? They edit, yes, they edit on laptops, but once they edit it done, they push it back to the NAS. But once next time they want to get the files, they want it to within like seconds. To like, come back. To come back. Big 4K yeah. file. They don't want to wait for a minute. But for are you the talking about this, the bandwidth? Are you talking about the speed? What is what is going on here? Is it gigabit? Yes, it has actually four gigabit LAN ports right here. But we also have an optional PCIe slot. It could support 10, gig, 10 gigabit LAN. Oh, you can do 10 gigabit yeah, right here. Yeah, you can here. do 10 gigabit right here. Yes. And then now you have, a, is this a new product, a network video recorder? Yes, this is the network video recorder. This is a refresh from the previous uh, NVR 216. It's now called NVR 1218. It can support up to 12 cameras on the single stand alone NVR right here. How many could it do the previous one? Uh, the previous one can do eight. Eight. Yes. So now you have 12 cameras, it's for network video recording. And why do they come, the cameras? Over the network? Yes, over the IP, over the network, right here. And we have a USB port, eSATA port for the expansion. And we also have the COM port. Uh, you can use it with a post system. One of the big upgrades is we worked with a port of sale system and to provide a total solution for a retailer. Point of sale? Yes. POS? POS. But that's not to do with the network video recorder, right? Oh, it does. It, it has you wanna, to integrate. You want to see it on the screen of the network of yes. POS? When you do a, a transaction, like you'll want your camera to capture, to at least make a screenshot or make a time tag to make okay. sure this transaction is complete. So when they want to come back to check the video, yeah. they will know, okay, this video belongs to which transaction. All right. Okay. Then you have a small one here, Visual Station. Is it the first time you do Visual Station? No, this is actually a refresh from the previous version. Okay. The pre previous version is a VS36 HD. And it's now VS960 HD, which means it can go up to 960 FPS. That means you can go up to 96 channel at 720p at 10 FPS Whoa. per channel. So you could easily build up a TV wall for your security room. We're gonna check. You, you have can it over check there. Over there. Yes. yes. And but let's check this one first. Uh, is this a new product? This new is a brand category? new product line. It's a security yeah. gateway, the SG-1000. Yeah. So yes. what is this for? This is for a small company or a small business that requires a, a, a total solution, a total security gateway belong to their office or even branch office. You can easily connect and set up a side-to-side -side VPN between office. A side to side VPN. Side to side VPN. So this yes. is a dual core 1.7. Is it the ARM solution? It, it's an ARM solution. Yes. Talk in detail about what it is, or uh, it'll come. It has not confirmed yet. Yeah. Yes. So later, when it, how soon is it available? It will be available later this year. Anything happening on the back? It was there's just a COM port and a power outlet. And a power button, and then over here you do. What do you do here with all these? One, two, one, and four LAN? These are, th this, this is, this is a single LAN, but there's another optional port for dual one. But you can use it for a regular switch port as well. And then what do you do with the SD card? Is it some storage? The SD card you could use for storage, yes. Uh, what, you, you, you could, uh, for the transfer lock. The, all the transfer data lock could be stored on the SD card. But this is not a router. Oh, is it a router? It's a 
gateway. It's close to router, but it doesn't have the Wi-Fi capability. Because you've been yes. doing some pretty popular routers, right? Yes, it's a, the it's a router. Big success? The, yes, it's pretty 2, good. 2600 yeah, 2, AC. Yes. And 1900 AC. And 1900 AC. Which one is most popular? Uh, the 2600 AC just launched earlier this year, and 2600 AC just got the small, uh, the best AC router on the small net builder. So 2600 AC. Best AC router and what? Best on, on small. Sm small net builder. Ah, that's they check all the AC routers. All the AC routers. You're the best. We're the best. Yes. It's that means fastest one. or best in it's functionality. Mean, it's mean functionality and performance and stability wow. and the overall build quality. But you don't have a refresh this year. Uh, the... 2600 AC just launched this year. Okay. So they are brand new. You don't have a refresh of 1900 AC. Uh, 1900 AC. Uh, the. Uh, the refresh could be coming up later or ne early next year. All right. Yeah. 1900 is a lower entry. It's a little bit cheaper, right? Yes, it's cheaper. Okay. Let's walk around a little bit and let's look sure. at some of the stuff you're showing over here. Okay. So, uh, if I walk around, you t you're talking about network management, integrated surveillance. Uh, right here, can you talk about this? Yeah. What is this? This is the... Visual Station, VS960 HD. This can easily build up a TV wall right here. Can so right now you have how many? Right now we have 100 cameras. 110? 100, 100. 100 video 100 at the same time? Video at the same time, yes. They're doing like 8 frames per second or something? They are doing 10 frames per second. 400? 400, yes. Wow. Uh, that's pretty impressive, no? It is pretty impressive for a smaller model like this. Yeah. What's the TPU in there? Did you talk about that or no? Uh, you will not see it. It's a yeah. It's a ARM CPU. It's an yeah. ARM solution. It's an ARM solution. It's an ARM solution. That's yeah. pretty cool to have said that many. And uh, all these uh, units are in here uh, uh, demonstrating all the apps you have in here. Yeah. For example, if you jump in here, you have a. You have Google Drive, Amazon Drive, Baidu. You can just sync to all these. Yeah, this this section is a whole media network. It introduced our video station and photo station. With the 1900 AC and one of your NAS. Yes. And what do you recommend? Uh, what's going on? They, they, actually, are they good at talking to each other? Yeah. All Synology router works seamlessly with all Synology NAS. Yes. Yes. It's because uh, if you have this one monitoring your home network, are you able to synchronize so uh, when you're not using the internet for your own personal use, maybe it can crank up uh, usage of backing up to Amazon Drive, you know? So you don't feel a slow internet. You're only using when you don't need it. You see what I mean? Yes. You, yeah, but actually... Uh, the integration between the Synergy Router and the Synergy NAS, we have done a couple of things. For example, we have the Quick Connect over WAN. The quick connect con over what? Quick Connect over WAN, which means the NAS right here can go into hibernation. When it goes to hibernation, it means then you will go to what we call the, what we call the deep sleep. And when it goes to hibernation, when you're outside of the internet, you could type in your quick connect ID, then you will wake up the NAS through the router. It can wake up the NAS, and the through, hibernation is very, very low power? We have two steps of hibernation. The one is uh, it's just hard drive hibernation. The other one is what we call the total sleep hibernation. Total hibernation of the whole system. The whole system is totally shut down. So you That's can amazing. Down. That means you only have this always on. This one is you just hibernation. Yeah, you can turn it off. And all your range or only a few models can do this? We have a few models. Actually, all models can do this. Even the old one, like if, if five it, years old model or something? Not just the new models. Like 2016, 16. 16. Maybe 14. 16 series, 15 series should be fine. 16, 15 can do yeah. this hibernation. Because yes. a, a regular user what, like I'm me... I'm sorry. Like, it, it, it's actually correct as a shutdown. It's a power down. It does power it down. It does power down. Everything is power off. Everything is powered down. But it can it can wake on land. It can be wake on land. Yes. 
And this is only possible with your router? Yes, with Synod router. Because it has a software solution? Yes. But that's awesome, right? Yes. Because a user like me, I would really like to use NAS, but I'm thinking it's a little bit sad to have it running all the time. I only need it for a few times every year. I mean, not, I, mean I, three, I need it three, three times, times every, every month. Week. You know? yeah. So I don't want it to run all the time. Yeah. It will heat up. It will use power. Yes. It's not good for the environment. Yes. It's not good for the Paris Agreement and trying yes. to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm joking. But so, so you have this solution. That's amazing. That's yeah. awesome. And that's exactly what I was wondering if you could. And also, you, do you have something where, you know, if I want to back up 16 terabytes yes. on Amazon Drive, yes. but I really don't want to slow down my internet experience. Yes. So you, ca you can program it to only do this you can do and that. resume only when it sees that I don't need it for my own use. You know, I'm not using the internet at home. I'm well, sleeping. It can detect maybe that people are sleeping. You can set up the QoS, the quality of service. So if some if someone is using another high traffic over your NAS, you can limit the traffic bandwidth of your NAS. Yeah, so you can limit the, the, the of this one as yes. a lower priority one. Yes. yes. But if it's if if you're not using for something else, it will go up. Speed. Yes. Yes. That's perfect. Yes. And this is only possible when you have this combination. Yes. Because you have traffic management on your router. Yes. Well, that's cool. How many millions of routers you ship? I'm joking. <laughs> you have a big it's success, right? Yes, we consider it's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, did you update the software a lot on this one? Is very stable. Are people happy or? Uh, we do regular software update, like almost every month, just because we have lots of uh, uh, CB. We fix security issues r rapidly. So if we yeah. found a security issue, we will fix it almost the next day or within the next week. So you don't have any uh, ransomware on your NAS? No. You we don't, don't have, have some big we, issues, right? We don't there. have big it's issues Linux. on our NAS. Linux. It's, it's Linux. And There's the no most hacking. important thing is we patch the security issues super quick. For example, the Semba vulner vulnerability was announced like uh, the day before and we fix it the next day right away. So who's doing this? You have some guys doing this over here? We have some very good engineers, right? Yes, they're, yeah. they're back in the office, not here. It's a busy office? It's a busy office. How many people, a secret? How many engineers you have? We have around close to 500 engineers. 500? Yes. Wow, so you're not a small company. We are not a small company, yes. All right, can we, see, can we look around a little bit? Uh, just to have an, uh, this is the, the UI, you have a, because what I'm thinking, uh, security, okay, I understand security, but yes. uh, I think it's even more interesting that you update this functionality and add more and more and more features. Yeah, if you want to take a look at the, the software of the router, we can go to the next boot, yeah. right there. It's right here. It's happening right there. Yes. And this is, uh, uh, this is getting updated. Yes, this is getting updated right here. We have the dashboard, we have the network center, and the control panel. This is the network center. Go to the dashboard. Okay. This is for the security gateway right here. This already. Is it yes. the similar software, those two? Uh, they are running the same OS. Yes, it is. But we do have some different configuration between these two. All right. Cool. Uh, let's walk around a little bit more. Uh, okay. Some stuff about disaster recovery. Okay. The disaster recovery basically hyper backup. Yes. Uh, disaster recovery, we have over a brand new cloud service called Synology C2 and it offers two services. The first one is C2 Backup. The second one is C2 Disaster Recovery. C C2 Backup serves as a cloud storage for you to back up your data from Synology NAS to our cloud storage. You offer our huge, cloud. huge cloud storage service? You have this? Yes, we offer cloud storage for Synology NAS so users. Uh, here is a, is a 12 bay. That means 120 terabytes. Yes. 
can I put 120 terabytes on your service? What's the price? It depends on the, most of the price tag will depend on your hard drive. We're gonna okay. check. There's some hard drive companies. Out there. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I can buy a hard drive and put it in your in your cloud. Or no? No, no, no. no. You sell a service. This is a service, yes. Cost. Based on how many terabytes, it's a different price. That's how it works? Yes, that's how, it depends how many data you upload to the Synology Cloud. And where is the Synology Cloud? Is it in Taiwan or is it all over the world? Not no. going in US and Europe? And right now it's in beta, uh, beta stage. We, our data center is in Europe right now. The first data center is in Europe. And many users, or it's beta? It's just it's, few, it's beta right some now. Some people are checking yeah. it out. Yes, it's beta right now, but it should be official pretty soon. Uh, I would, I would like you to have this service where you you ship a box a little bit similar to this size, okay? Yes. You ship it to them, people. Uh -huh. You connect to USB, click a button, uh -huh. and a few hours later or one day later, uh -huh. it's full, and they ship it back to you. No need to upload. Uh huh. That'll be cool, no? You'll be cool, yeah, you'll yeah. be cool. Yeah, That'll be, be cool. an easy way to back up 16 it, terabytes. It is, yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Consider it. Yeah. I'm joking. Uh, no, <laughs> we'll it's serious, we're, we're considering. Because yeah. it's just, a, it would be great if you have a cold storage cloud service. It, it is, it very is. Very cold storage, very cheap. Yes. Just a little bit more expensive than the hard drive cost. Yes. Not much more. Yes. Because maybe you can run it on some ARM servers, you know? Yeah. Save some money, not have a big infrastructure. Uh -huh. Maybe you can be five times cheaper than Google and Amazon yeah. because they are expensive. I don't know why, but the cold storage with Amazon and Google is still expensive. Yeah, but you will is. sell many more NAS you, and they will sell more hard drive and everybody will be happy. Yeah, true. Okay, let's, let's look around. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, we have introduced the virtual machine manager uh, earlier this month. Uh, virtual virtual machine manager virtual, uh, it allows you to run Windows Linux or a virtual DSM on a single NAS right here so you can run virtual machine on the NAS yes you could run virtual machine on the NAS yeah but you, uh, you could run virtual machine manager on our Intel based models any Intel can run Windows? Uh, Intel based model with over 4 gigabit of RAM. All right. Yeah. They can run the virtual machine they stuff. Can, yeah, they can run for Windows. For Windows. You could do in you could do Linux on the ARM ones, right? In theory. But you it's not enough uh, to focus. There are performance yeah. concern for, for the non Intel ones. Are people doing that a lot? Very happy to use this song functionality. Yeah, lots of people are requesting it. For example, like uh, once we launch it, within the first week, we already have 10,000 10, users are trying on our beta program. Cool. 10,000 10, yeah. users. 10,000. How many users do you have? It's secret total. You have millions? We have millions of users, yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it's true. So, yeah. What is the workplace for productivity? Mail Plus. It's the Synage, Yeah, it's the Mail Plus and Synage Office, Synage Calendar, and Chat. These are all the collaboration tools we can offer for private cloud solutions. Uh, just to understand, if I jump in here, uh, Mail Plus, it looks like Gmail, but it's Synology Gmail. It's Synology Mail Plus service. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a private cloud private. solution. You don't put it yes. on the we don't put American it. company. Yes, website. no, we don't put it on American company yeah. website. Yeah. So for people who are afraid what they can read, every enterprise have secrets. Yes, they you could. don't want the American company to see what they're doing. Yes, yeah. so they could have the private cloud solution. Or the Chinese company. All the Chinese companies, exactly. Yeah. They, I'm sure they read all the emails and, and wait, WeChat, right? I'm I joking. don't know. <laughs> okay, but you have chat solution. It looks like WeChat or no? Same functionality as. Uh, uh, we have chat solution. It's uh, if it, it's like it's like Slack. So Slack is a public cloud service, and we have the private cloud solution for business who want to own their uh, data. Data. Their secrets. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So, and you also support the mobile apps, so you could chat on your mobile apps as well. And the performance, and uh, everybody's happy, it looks good. Uh, for the, the mail, how long have you been doing Mail Plus solution? Mail Plus, we've been doing over a year. 
now. And it's very stable, very and it's good. very stable, yes. Our whole company uses the Mail Plus. We have over 700 employees in the company. Oh, and every, every, everyone uses Mail Plus. We don't use Google Mail. We don't use Google Mail, no. Or we are fighting Mail. See, right here, I'm using my Mail Plus even on my... On can, my you can read your emails? Yeah, you can read my email, see? There's a Mail Plus right here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's some secrets. I don't want to <laughs> zoom in. Okay, uh, let's let's check some of your partners over here. You have some uh, storage partners. Yes. Uh, you have uh, just one second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have uh, Seagate doing uh, Seagate. They're showing the 10 terabytes Iron Wolf. This is a pretty good uh, a partner to you to. to you have to buy hard drive from the NAS, right? Yeah, you have to buy hard drive from the NAS, exactly. So the Seagate, they also have archive hard disk, but that's not so much for NAS, right? The archive, the archive and storage are not for NAS usage. Yeah, you need they are for cold storage. Yeah, you need iron wall. All right, and, uh, over here, Rav Kushal, SSD, yes. Kushal is doing, uh, they are doing something like SSD, Yes. It can go up to two terabytes. Yeah, exactly. That can go with the uh, FS1018. Three, 3D technology. Uh, there. And uh, let's let's check out the Western Digital. Yes. Hello. No, hi there. Hello. Hi there. Uh, I'm uh, Yen. I'm an FAE for Western Digital. So today we are partnering with Synology to actually to introduce our WD Red Drive, which is actually this is Synology Drive, right? No, <laughs> I mean I'm joking. We are partners. Okay, partners. Yeah, this yeah. is WD partners. Drive. We are but partners. But it's a, a good partner for Synology to use this product right here. Yeah. This is for video. video. Also for, for video Synology. Video. Yes, Synology. What do you do with the gold? Do you put this in an ass or not? Uh, it actually very well, depends because what we actually do is for anything uh, less than eight bay, we will recommend the WD Red product itself. Less than three. Eight. Less than eight. Less than eight. Okay. okay. If anything less than eight bay, we will recommend WD Red itself. Yeah. If everything between eight to sixteen, we have the WD Red Pro to go with. So if you want to install into bigger capacity or bigger bay uh, storage for Synology system, we will recommend to use our WD Go which is a data center hard drive itself. But, but why do you need this for 8-bay and more? Why? Well, because of the vibration that will be uh, occur if you have more than like 8-bay in, in the same storage. So for a uh, data center drive, we are much more tuned for vibration, uh, shock proof. So it's much more suitable for 16-bay and above. It's a little bit more expensive, right? Uh, yes, Just definitely. Just a little bit. Uh, wow, well, that one, okay. you can check the market price. I can check, I can check later, yeah. <laughs> But, uh, and, and all the hard drives is 10 year warranty? No, I'm no, no. So uh, is it possible is, to have 10 year warranty or not? Is it possible to have 10 year warranty if you... If, uh, you need a private company to do the warranty for uh, the guarantees company or something. Insurance business is... You don't offer this option, right? No, currently we don't offer this kind of option. So because my, warranty in there? Uh, standard wise for data center drive, we are giving five years warranty itself that will be the longest already in the in the, in the industry itself uh, same goes with the w red as well five uh w red pro goes with five as well. five years so if you put uh eight of them in a synology nas mm -hmm. a little red button right sometimes you can just ship it back and get a new one quickly okay for taiwan we have an rmc center it's just at our uh, computer building over there uh, they can go to our uh, service center and swap immediately. Swap immediately? Yeah, if we have stock available, we, we do offer that kind and of you service. And you can also just uh, prepay on your credit card, get it shipped immediately and we'll send it back the other one and get the refund, right? Well, that one have to depend on the region. Depend on the region. Depend yeah. on the I region. I tried this one time in Europe. Uh -huh. It's pretty... Convenient, stable. stable. Yeah. stable. Yeah. So you, have you recommend way? everybody have two copies, right? Minimum. Every data. Well, I would always recommend to back up your data because data is uh, invaluable. You can't really measure by money. So this drive might pay a little bit, but it's always worth it to have a backup. Nice. And every year you ship double more hard drive with Synology, right? I'm joking. But it's, yeah. it's going up the business, right? Yeah, the Synology business is doing yeah. well. So if yeah. they're doing well, we're doing well, right? That's cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you. you. Thank so uh, so there, there's more and more with the backup. Everybody should get backup. Everybody should get... Uh, 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 multiple hard drives in the NAS. Yes. So that that's big, big, important business to be in. It is. NAS it is. is relevant. 
It is prevalent. And always coming with new products. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have the biggest community of users on, the, on your forums. It's thousands and thousands of people, right? Yes, it is. It is. And we are going to refresh our forum really soon. All right. Yeah. So keep, keep updated. Okay. Yes. Thanks.